Computer languages Just like we use languages like English and Hindi to communicate with each other, in the same manner, we use a set of instructions called programs written in the computer language to communicate with computers. We work on computers through different computer programs. A program contains a set of instructions that can be executed on a computer. The process of creating a program is called programming. Some examples of computer programs are operating system, tux paint, video games, web browsers, etc. There are many programs that run whenever the computer is used. These programs that run in the background are called background programs. The programs that start on a click and the programs that run on desktop are called foreground programs. Programming languages Computer programming languages allow us to give instructions to a computer in a language the computer understands. A programming language contains keywords that can be used to write instructions and they are mainly used to create programs for computers. Programming languages were introduced so that humans could easily understand computer language. A computer understands information in binary code, that is, zeros and ones. It is difficult to write instructions directly in binary code, hence programming languages were developed, which use English-like words for programming. Development of the programming languages made writing programs more user-friendly and understandable. There are two types of programming languages. The first is low-level language. Low-level languages are no different from machine code. They mostly use binary digits and are directly executed by the CPU. These languages were specifically written for one particular type of computer. Examples of low-level languages are machine language and assembly language. The second type of programming language is high-level language. These languages were developed after low-level languages. They are closer to human language as they use English words. High-level languages are not machine-dependent. Some examples of high-level languages are Fortran, BASIC, C and C++. Generations of programming languages Many programming languages have been created and many more are being created every year. Programming languages have been classified into several programming language generations. These generations are first generation language, second generation language, third generation language and fourth generation language. First generation languages or machine languages. The first generation of computer language mainly used binary codes. Instructions were given in zeros and ones. Since the program was directly processed by the CPU, it remains one of the fastest programming languages. First generation language is also known as machine level language. These languages are very easy for the computer to understand but difficult for humans. Binary codes consist of nothing but thousands of zeros and ones, making it very confusing and difficult to learn. Also, it is really difficult to find errors in the code if the program doesn't function properly. There are advantages as well as disadvantages of first-generation languages. Advantages include Programs run very fast No additional translation program is required Efficient for the computer Disadvantages include the binary code was difficult to learn, 
It was difficult to code as it is machine dependent. Program had lots of errors. Debugging was difficult. Second generation languages or assembly language. Second generation languages are also referred to as assembly language. Unlike machine level language, this programming language uses some English words in the form of mnemonics and symbols, making the language more understandable. However, these words were not directly understood by the machine and needed to be converted into machine level language by the assembler before execution. Since the program doesn't directly run on the CPU, it is comparatively slower than machine level language. Assembler is a language processor which converts assembly language program into its equivalent machine language program. The assembler checks each line for errors before execution and so debugging also became easier. Second generation languages had both advantages as well as disadvantages. Advantages are easier to understand, easy to debug, it is memory efficient, easy to modify than machine languages, requires less number of instructions. Disadvantages are slower than machine language as it needs translator, cannot be executed in small sized computers, cannot run on computers made by a different manufacturer as machines are different. Difficult to remember syntax. Third generation languages or high level languages. Third generation language refers to high level languages that are a step above assembly language. Some of the popular programming languages used today are from the third generation. Third generation languages give much more freedom to write code and do not restrict programming to predefined words. Programmers can use their own variables, making it easier to understand than assembly language. Basic, C, C++ and Java are popular examples of high-level languages. High-level languages in the third generation mainly used a compiler or an interpreter. Both of them are used to convert source code to machine language, which is object code. The interpreter executes the program by converting one instruction at a time to machine code. If an error occurs during the execution, the interpretation task stops and the program needs to be executed again from first instruction. The compiler was created for the third generation programming languages. The high level language uses a lot of English like words and the compiler converts the entire written program into one object code. This is later run by the CPU. This is better than an assembler because the compiler doesn't check the code line by line. Instead, the entire program is executed in one go. Some programming languages that use compilers are C, C++, Pascal and Java. Third generation languages had both advantages as well as disadvantages. Advantages are easier to understand than assembly language, easier to learn and debug, machine independent, less errors with more productivity. Disadvantages are needs more powerful computers to run, needs additional translation time, slower than low level languages, less memory efficient. Let's get familiar with some popular 3GL programming languages. C. C was created by Dennis Ritchie in 1972 while he was working at Bell Laboratories. This was an upgraded version to the B programming language. 
the language gained popularity and commercial success over the years. Even today, C is a widely used programming language. Java Java is an object-oriented programming language created by James Gosling in 1995. Java is widely used because of its platform independence. A Java program needs to be written once and it can run anywhere. C++ C++ was created by Bjorn Strustrup in Bell Laboratories in 1979. C++ is an upgraded and object-oriented version of the C programming language. This language was designed with the motive of making C more flexible and efficient. Python Python is an open source and free to use programming language. It was created in 1991 by Guido van Rossum. Python is an interpreted language. It didn't need a compiler as interpreters could run the program in all target computers. Because of its high-level language and easy-to-read syntax, it is considered a good language for beginners. Fourth Generation Languages Fourth generation languages are closer to human language than other high-level languages. They allow multiple common operations to be performed with a single programmer entered command. They are intended to be easier for users than previous generation languages. These languages are programmer friendly as they use graphical interfaces, drag drop, touch screen support and icons. 4GLs are designed to reduce the overall time, effort and cost of software development. 4GLs contain the ability to add 3GL codes into their language and develop it further for business purposes. These kinds of languages are mainly used for working with databases and other data processors. Some examples of 4GLs are SQL, Wave, Metafont, etc. Advantages and disadvantages of fourth generation languages are Advantages are Programmer friendly, faster development Contains features of 3GL, easy to maintain Disadvantages are Needs more space to be stored Executed at a slower speed by the CPU. Complex language. Suitable only for business-oriented programs.